Hello everybody! Welcome to another wonderful episode of our Minecraft Let's Play series. So I've done a bit of work. Oh. Ah, screw it. We'll do it real quick. So you can see there's nothing there. Oh crap. We take this new elevator we have. We now have a way to view our domain. But I don't just want it to be exposed like that. So, which we're just using drawbridges, which I wanted to make it kind of cool, but now it's not working the right way. So, I want it to be somewhat safe. So I can look at it at our empire without actually getting hurt. Let's see the door. So if we go back down here real quick. Now we can see it. Oh crap. Get inside, get inside. Hoo hoo hoo. That was a close one. Bring that down a little bit. Oh, we actually, let's throw the potato in there. Oh, I still need one more of either of these, which just sucks. So, today, what I want to get working on is actually a way to kind of solve our XP issue. Because last episode, what we were doing, we were having a lot of XP problems. So this episode, I want to sort of fix the XP issue we're having. Oh yeah, I added an elevator here. I think it just looks more clean. So we also added in a fuel drum, because I was, like, we were producing a lot of fuel. Um, but I didn't want that to, you know, let's say we have a problem. I don't want that problem to exist. So, like, let, let's just say we start needing to consume more. We need to start doing this or that or something else. I wanted a way to just sort of have a surplus. So... We just bugged up a drum to it. And I didn't do any big crazy drum. I literally just did a 20, 24, 200, whatever that is. 256, um, so a quarter of a million buckets. I need to eat something to get my health back. Then we're going to run in and attack them. Come on. Close call, ladies and gentlemen. That is, oof, I look rough. So, there's a few things we could get working on today. So, one of the main things I kind of want to get started on is just to sort of get a little bit into Ender IO. Um, which we don't have absolutely have to get into Ender IO today, but there are several things we do need to get working on. We need to start getting a tree farm going, which means we need plastic, which means we need a few extra items. I do just like the stealthiness of this, which is actually really high up. Um, cause I always go down. I never, I always forget to go up. Crap. Will you freaking stop hiding right there? There you go, I got everything back. Lost all that XP though. Um, so yeah, let's get working on, I'm gonna say, let's do Ender IO first. Actually no, let's go plastic, cause it's gonna take a while to get some plastic production up and running. Well, it's not plastic, it's in, I spell industrial wrong, which makes no sense because I spell the word like 16 times a day. I don't know why. I should have like, I don't know. Industrial. There you go. Get rid of foregoing. So, first thing we need to get working on is a tree fluid extractor. Super simple machine. Let's go make one. Um, Furnace. I think we have some furnaces hiding. We do. I'm going to want three though. 
So let's get let's also get some iron and redstone. Iron and redstone. So let's get one more made up. That that done. All right. Oh, whoops, forgot one. There you go. So let's get a. This one's actually gonna be super freaking easy. It looks like. And I was always trying to figure out, what am I going to use this for? This little passageway back here. I think I know. We're going to use it as the tree fluid. Like, because we need tree fluid um, to extract tree fluid to get um, plastics. So, I mean, double tacking that's not that. We really do only need like a 3x3 three three by 3 and we don't need to see half of it. So, um... Let's do it this way. Tree fluid, tree fluid, tree fluid. Uh, crescent wrench. There you go. Let's go grab some wood. Now there's different types of wood you can use to do tree fluid. Um, we just have happen to have normal oak wood, so that's what we're gonna use. It's gonna start extracting latex from the trees. Oh wait, we need to go one more back. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did that? That I did. Too much of. That is one of the bad things with these drills. Once you get to a certain tier, um, power just becomes um, excessive. I also don't have anything to break that with, so we're gonna do it this way. Okay. Alright, place that back down. Let's get some pipes. And we can do it, yeah, right there. That should be fine. These luckily don't need any power, so they automatically start doing what they need to do. Let's go over and grab out some tanks. I could do diamond, I could do normal, I could do gold. You know, it's not going to be a lot to start with. So, we'll just go with gold. Um, throw some of that in there, throw that in there, throw that in there, that, that. Oh, we also needed to grab one other thing out. We don't need to, it's not like it's going to be extracting a ton of fluid, so it's not like we need to worry about that. Alright. Always active. Always active. And always active. Now... Oh, Christ. That sucks. Well, I guess we're doing a... one of those ones. Okay. We're gonna leave that open for a little bit. There you go, we have latex, woohoo! All right, gonna need to grab out some more, some more fluid ducts. And what was the other thing we wanted to grab out? There's something else I want. Oh, I have them in my inventory, cool. And there we go, that's working. We're slowly extracting the latex we need for this production to work. Awesome. So then the, the next big thing is a latexing processing unit. Which, you think things would be in alphabetical order? No, no. I'm, we're, never, we're never that lucky, people. We're never that lucky. Okay, several ways we can do it. We're going to do the easy one. Just grab out some tin. I don't know why I made two of them. I only need one. But I'm sometimes an idiot. Boom. Alright, what was the other things I needed? Iron furnaces. 
Okay. Furnace is the easy part. Oh, I need an iron gear too. Okay. And while we're at it, I'm gonna need one of you. I'm not gonna need a do 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 boop but done. Alright, so let's do yeah, we'll place it right there. Place down another tree. There it is, that's what I want. Oh crap. Absolutely not what I was supposed to do. There we go. Oh crap. I really fucked that one up. I didn't even realize it was right there. That was that was a big mistake on my part. So let's do it this way. Actually, no, I don't think there's going to be a way to do that, you know, the way I want to do it. So we're going to have to do it this way. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Like, I'm, I'm being an idiot. Yeah, I that that solved every single problem I had. Cause idiocy. All right, place this back. Activate. Oh, I activate and activate. There we go. So then the way to do this one would be Come on, there you go. Alright, it's got latex, now all it needs is power, which is honestly probably one of the easier steps we have to do today. Which I actually want to try running it. Why do I have it going like that? I don't have any leadstone. Find some leadstone. That should be enough, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Brilliant move. It lives. It's alive. Um, place on another tree. And we can also do power right there too so that solves more problems give me once now we just need to get some latex process oh wow because we need to make a block placer not a block breaker a block placer so I'm gonna go so the way to create plastic is the primary thing is to take tiny dried rubber, which in this case it takes nine to make one dry rubber. One dry rubber then smelts and makes one plastic. And we have 27, so let's see what that is. Three, we need just a little bit more and then we can make it. So let's, I'll be back once it's made. All right, we're back to finish out this great episode. And I now just realized something. If you look down here at the block placer, it still does the animation when it's in your hand. I'm curious. Um, oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh, it actually does do that the whole time. Cool. So just place the block. <clears throat> yeah. That was a weird sensation. Just place the block placer in and just fill it with stuff. It's going to automatically place down blocks. These are automatically going to get extracted, automatically flow through here, input into there. And we have probably one of the most compact systems you can make for one of these things. Power runs along there, so we don't even have to worry about that part. See, is it? Uh, I just love when things actually look organized. I've actually, like, taken a lot of planning in this stage. So I've just kind of shove it everywhere. Okay. Now that we got the, that part done. See, doesn't it just look cool? I like my little thing. Oh, wow. You can actually see everything in the chunk. I think that's pretty cool. And seal. I like that. Just like it. So, we could actually build this back one. I think that's what we're going to do real quick. I know it would be even farther back than what it originally was, but I'm all about aesthetically pleasing. Oh yeah, nice job, idiot. When it out, say screw it. How am I going to do that? Oh, I know. Oops. Okay. What was that? What was I doing now? Um. Oh yeah, it's going on a drawbridge. Go. Dang it! Keep doing that. Like, I know it's the point of it, but I keep doing it by accident. Okay. I thought I had some levers. I thought I had some levers laying around. Oh, yeah. I keep throwing everything into here. Oh yeah, it works to that. Cool. I like it. And we also have a safety to prevent stuff from getting access when we don't want it. And then, if anybody ever gets into the base... Die, you witch. Oh! What the? What the heck? Alright. Um. Did I ever click that button back? No, I did not. I did not. I'm an idiot. Wonderful job, you moron. 
the other back in, put that in. Um, that's still filling up. Luckily, it's got plenty of stuff to worry about. And look at that. We're almost out of oil. Well, not almost out of oil. We still have plenty of oil in our oil drums over here. And watch it fill up. Oh, that. I like it. I love it. We have this finally all set up. Now, what we're going to actually use this for is we're actually going to dig back this way. I just wanted a nice kind of area. So, the reason why we're digging back this way is because we actually want to create, um, what the heck? That's cool. That's actually really freaking cool. That's actually pretty freaking sweet. Can you not get up here? I'm not 100% confident. So the reason we're doing this, let me get back to the reasoning, is because we wanted to, I want a safe kind of area to mess around with spawnings. You're kidding me! Um, I wanted a, like a safe area to mess around with spawning stuff and just mobs. We have to wait until this is my heater's over. So I'm probably going to end the episode here. I'll see you guys next time. i got to go find a couple different things. So I'll be back. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.